We begin tonight with a six year old girl recovering in the hospital after a life threatening snake bite. Now the family is warning people to be careful when they head outdoors. News on Six's Tristan Land is on the story. She joins us live from St. Francis Children's Hospital where the little girl is still recovering. Tristan. Erin Aubrey Patton was enjoying the outdoors Friday with her family at Elk Creek when a large cottonmouth snake bit her on the foot. We spoke with her grandparents about how it happened and how Aubrey is doing tonight. She wanted to go to the creek to celebrate. This picture is from the start of what was supposed to be a fun trip to Elk Creek, but now that trip has turned into a nightmare for six year old Aubrey Patton. She had never dreamed something like that would happen and she's still kind of in sh shock over it. Aubrey was celebrating her kindergarten graduation, exploring the outdoors when she felt something bite her foot. She said, ouch, and her mom turned around and said, what happened? She said, that stick got me. What she thought was a stick turned out to be a large cottonmouth snake. She got in the water and swam for about 30 minutes. And when she got out, she came up to her dad and said, my foot really hurts. And he looked down and it was black. Although death by snake bite is rare, you can get bit easily. Tulsa County Game Warden Carlos Gomez says the best thing to do when you see one is to avoid it. Pay attention to where you're walking. And like I said, don't mess with them if you don't have to. Aubrey was rushed to the hospital Friday evening after being treated with 18 vials of anti-venom. Her grandparents say she is feeling much better. She's doing great. She's happy, bouncing around in the bed, mm -hmm. being a little girl. So mm -hmm. everything's good again. Nichols says the next photo she hopes to send family and friends will be of Aubrey leaving the hospital. And Nichols says Aubrey is doing well and is no longer in a lot of pain. They are hoping she will be released from this hospital tomorrow. Live on the scene on the story in Tulsa, Tristan Land, News on Sick.